Hey guys, welcome to Ace Graphics Studio, where graphics is made fun and interesting. My name is Owole Biayo, and today I'll be taking you on how to design business card with Cold. First of all, what I want us to do whenever I want to design a business card in Cold Draw, I want us to write out our content out, maybe on a notepad or on a, a microsoft word so after writing your content out then we cannot jump straight to corridor now in our workspace we have to create a new document then give it a name business business card so We'll go to our presets here. We, we have talked about this before, but we have a preset here which is says business card. So we clicked on it, then we'll carry on. Then we'll double double click on our rectangle to create a background for us. So after creating a background, then we fill it with color. We fill it with very color so we could be visible. We move our outline. Um, then you now have to bring in our content one after the other as we have placed them here. Now we have our, our slogan, the name, and everything. But first of all, what we have to do on our first page is to bring in our logo, our logo which we are using to design our business card. So you bring in the logo like this. After you bring in your logo, and you, you now centralize it in on your page centralize it on your page then you if you look at this logo you can see it's not that sharp so it's not that sharp so we would quickly trace it to make it vectorized so it could be sharp and legible You can see now you can see the difference between the two you can see this is rasterized and this is vectorized so let's delete that so centralize it on our page next we we'll, we'll have to create a measurement our measurement here so we we'll have to bring in our grid lines So we make sure you have equal size in all of us on all of our shapes. Make sure we have equal size. Now we now have our equal size, then we cannot delete this box we use as a guideline. We can delete them now, we don't even need, need them again. So now we bring in our slogan. You press Ctrl C to copy, then you come picking your text to then Ctrl V to paste. And you can say maintain its fonts. Or discard so we can click maintain the font so bring it down here you to size it then I want to you want to change my font I know I didn't like the font which is there so I want to change my font um, I feel I can still reduce this small so you can reduce it by this angle until you pleased then this is okay okay you can take you we'll make sure you take it off the grid line because of our cutting margin you should not go and cut it off so 
this for our front panel for our front panel and for this other panel our back panel we'll create a new work a new page then we'll create the back then we we'll bring in our logo Ctrl C copy and uh, Ctrl V for paste then we'll bring it aside so I want to use the color of our logo here so I'll press Ctrl Shift E to pick the color of our logo here then you remove our half line then you bring in our logo then you bring in our logo we size it you can see part of our logo are not showing so we can actually change it to white since we have made it a rasterized a vectorized image centralize it So now we bring in our content one after the other as we did the other time. Make sure we change it to white so that we'll be able to show on our background. Change your font. If you like, you can maintain the font it's coming with it but I like to play around so change my font to lesser interest to more to more interesting font I think my font to more interesting font so I reduce it not to give it that too much shouting too much shouting by so now you pick artist the title you can double click on this and highlight it ctrl a paste it now you cannot pick discard format so it will follow the format that's here but this font is very thick so i don't want this yet to be thick so i want it to be light so that's fine by me it's fine by me so next you bring in your address you bring in your other details let's bring it all all together in maintain they all came in together we reduce them change them to white change the font You reduce it to you are satisfied with it so now I'm going to break our text I'm going to break our text so you press ctrl K to break our text from each other you can see now that our text are broken away from each other so now I want to move I want to bring in our icons so for this you go to your web now bring your location this location icon I'll leave the description below for the font okay next we'll bring in as we we'll type our social shapes so now we're gonna bring in our Facebook for our social media our Instagram our Instagram, our Twitter, 
for our social media handles if we bring that in then we're going to bring in another typography icon to this is type type icon so here we're going to pick our call as tell icon so pick a tell icon from here then we also pick our email this stands for our email and for our youtube we also pick this for our youtube so now we'll close this panel then we we'll now have to adjust everything according to how we want it to I want to adjust according to the names which are given to them starting from the top we have our address so we adjust the spacing with the shape to just have to move this in out if you want to adjust your space in there so reduce your icon place it beside your address change the color then here we have a tell so we have our tell here we move our tell icon to the next place we reduce it change it to white Then we move our tail, which is here, which is tight here. And we align this to this side. Next is our social media. Remove the name social media. Delete it. Then Use it, change it to white, move it closer, control E um, E to align, just select two objects together and you can align them. You have to remove this, you have to remove this email here too. Then adjust this also. You select two objects, you call to your you come over to your object, then you see alignment, you see a right alignment, you see a left alignment. So you are doing left alignment. Okay. Now we have to do a central alignment, a left alignment here also. Since we are using this type of alignment, we we'll make sure you use it to the end. You change this color, reduce it. Shift. Come to your object, alignment, left alignment. Then you have to change our move the name come over here object alignment move this object alignment and use horizontal vertical so now we are done with this piece of arrangement so we can group it together we press ctrl g to group it together then scale it down 
moving this side aside now select this together and you do your left alignment then you can create you we'll create a line in between that line you change it to white and now for my tutorial I said to create a line a straight line you hold on shift you hold on shift you hold on shift and you click to draw your line okay now this is looking nice this is looking nice now we have to central align this to our page central align it to our page it's already aligned that's nice that's nice so bring this down a little bit and um, let's group it together Ctrl G and click and also align it good also align our line good now we are now we want to create a little if design pattern to our to our design now we'll just create a box from this angle downward we put in white we remove the outline then you come to objects you convert to shape then you go to your pick, uh, pick tool then you delete this node you can see you delete it then you bring the same thing the same shape to this other to the other side I'm moving on a straight line you can move on a straight line when holding on shift you can see when holding on shift, you can move on a straight line then you place it here then you flip it mirror it this way you can now see it Let's select it and let's align to the top left left first and alignment again top you can see now our business card is looking cool now we have to select the two together select all these together and control G to group then now we have to centralize it with all page centralize and also centralize centralize vertically you can see now we are true with the back of our business card now you can see now front and back it's looking cool so now let's do some little effects let's add some little design to elements let us add some little let add more elements to the front design to make it more appealing we can follow this our we can follow our line our grid line we draw we create a new a new shape by holding on shift and scaling it down and before you drop it you right click once you right click it bring a plus sign and it duplicates let's change this to white and let's take it down you see your order and take it back then you take this other big layer back to back you can see our white is now showing so we want to let it to follow the grid line we draw so we scale it by the side you can see now it's now following the line we draw. you can see it's now looking more 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 awesome so let's do some little filling to this just to emphasize you can add contrast to this you can just do this 
to add contrast to it. Oh, let me change it. Let me change it to add contrast to it. I'm just doing this at my own discretion, but it's no, it's no must you put. This is a slogan. No must, must you put a a a a an an element to it, but it's just to make it come out and just to make it look awesome. You can see, wow, this is looking amazing. So change this to to white. Then you, you want to add some little effect to it then slight color of that of gray so you just control you hold on control and you click on your color then it gradually adds color for you gradually adds color you can see the color it's not red but you see now amazing very very much amazing and we can either change this to red too, but I feel it's gonna be too much. So now this is our business card. This is our business card for today. So let's save it before we mock it up. Now we're gonna we just press come to a file, save as, save as. You type in your business card, whatever name you want to save it, and your location, with the location you want to save it. Location you want to save it, then you press OK. After you've saved it, after you've saved it, then you group everything together back you group it together too so you now bring control control C to copy then you create a new slide at the front so you paste it you scale it down because I just I want to mock it up then you bring in the second one to control B go on to C further then you reduce it to to, to actually the same size it must be the same size now you bring in our we bring in our material we scale it down I'll leave the link below for you to get all this images this image that I'm currently using then let's we'll first do the back side which to your object add perspective then follow the perspective of the card Good. Next, you do add our front. Our front did not need much of a dogler. Now you can see this is our complete work. 
equal to d.